Now moving on to the Japanese side of things. So apparently we're getting, not only are we getting a Super Sentai game, but we're also getting an Ultraman game for the Nintendo Switch. So it is Lupin Ranger versus Patron Ranger. I'm sorry, Patron Jer. God damn. So I'm not watching that show. And every time I mess it up, every time, Patranger uh, and also Ultraman RB. So, R slash B. So we're getting them both on the Switch. And we're also getting what looks to be a pretty cure. A and we're also uh, looks to be getting a pretty cure game as well. But either way, we're focusing on the, uh, on the Sentai and on the uh, Ultraman side of things. So, I'm hyped for one reason. You would think it's because I have a Switch. I do not, actually. But, uh, Matt, then why the hell are you hyped? I want a Switch. I want to get one for so many games right now, especially ones that are coming uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, stuff like Smash Brothers. Even, like, the, the Yoshi game coming out. Uh, Yoshi's Craft the World looks really cute. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee also look nice. Also, there's that Kamen Rider Climax Fighters game that I mentioned that uh, I mentioned on the first episode, I believe, of Toku Station. So, I'm excited about those. But also, the reason why I'm excited about this, I think I mentioned it then, but if I didn't, or even if I did, I'll mention it now. The Switch is region-free. So, you can play these games on the Switch. Now, yes, they won't be in English, of course, but you can still play them on the Switch. And that's really cool to me, personally. Like, I'm pretty hyped that you can actually play uh, this game on the Switch. So, looking at the trailers for these games, yes, they are minigame based. So, now you're definitely probably wondering, why am I hyped in any way whatsoever? Uh, the reason why is because the minigames look so simple that I think if, if two things were to happen. One, it was uh, it's to be at a reduced price, so not $60. That's the first thing. Which, it says it's for um, 4,800 yen. I'm going to try to do a currency converter, even though I know if I were to get it in the U.S., it would probably, there would be some kind of import fee regardless. But still, what I'm getting at here, though, is they're minigame-based, which probably means that there is a good chance that um, they won't be too heavy on text, especially looking at the games, they really don't seem to be heavy on text, and the parts that do, I do hope that the community might come forward, some in the community might come forward and actually post different, um, different guides just to get by barely. Uh, because again, I, I do think that these games do not, they don't seem to be that difficult, right? They don't seem to be that difficult. Look, just looking at them, maybe I'm wrong, maybe you guys can tell me, you know, how wrong I am in the comment section down below, but let's see, uh, ooh, it's 43 bucks, which, if you're buying it in Japan, maybe not the worst, but bringing it, importing it over here would probably end up being worth 60 bucks, and I, I don't, mm, mm, if I was doing a review on it for the channel, for our Those Guys Play YouTube channel, I would, but... Ah, uh, when it comes to me just wanting to have some fun, no. Okay, so now I've been, I have changed my stance so immediately, um, but uh, so quickly. But I think really the price is where it's at. That's that's kind of what's like, uh, I'm kind of leaning towards the, the now, nah, not really section. Um, and, and it's frustrating too because, you know, it's, I don't want, especially in Japan, even though, Climax Fighters is coming out, uh, the Kamen Rider game, that's a fighting game, so it is coming out for the Switch, but I hope that Sentai and Ultraman in Japan, when it comes to video games, don't devolve into this for the Switch, because it's thought of as just, you know, for the kids, or it's just a kids thing. You know, I mean, I don't know, I, I don't know what kind of power, uh, Super Sentai game we would have in Japan, it becomes some kind of Power Rangers game in the US, but I don't know what kind of Super Sentai game we would have in Japan, um, because it wouldn't be a fighting game, of course. But, you know, it, it would be nicer to have something a bit more open world, a bit something like, uh, like Lightspeed Rescue or the Time Force uh, games in the U.S. Or even, even a beat-em-up of some kind would be fun, although for Lupin Ranger um, and Patranger, it wouldn't make sense because you'd be fighting other rangers in a beat-em-up style. It would be a little odd, but because um, I haven't seen the show, so I don't know about any enemy, you know, goons and stuff like that, but either way... And, um, it's, if you want it, it's gonna come out soon. Uh, let's see the release date here. It will be out November 21st. So if you want to get this for a friend, a uh, family member, uh, love interest, whoever, for the holiday season, you can. You know, or just get it for yourself. And just be like, hey, I, I, I put money into this. 